It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. We're doing Check It Out, day seven of Halloween Vlogtober. We are going to talk more about the Halloween clock. I got to say, I love this clock. It is wonderful. Bath and Body Works has got me collecting a clock collection now. So remember we had the Christmas clock from last year. There's a new Christmas clock coming this year for um, the holidays. And you know what? I'm literally, I need a, I need a fireplace because I just want to line my clocks up along the fireplace. I don't know. I, I need a house with a fireplace because I got to say, I am loving the clock. So if you haven't seen this one yet, this is the Halloween one. Um, it's still available. Check it out. I got my Rocky Horror. <laughs> Remember that version of Vampire Blood? I just decided to put that on there. It's keeping perfect time. It's, um, wait a minute. Maybe it's not. Are we an hour behind? I might have set this wrong. So setting the clock um, is not too bad. So you got to basically take this face out like this in order to set it. And, um... Don't take this part off. I forgot how to do this. You take this part off. That's right. Because um, I almost broke it. Honestly, now there are Roman numerals in here. There's a battery. So <laughs> I got to get it to go the right way. Maybe it is set right. Okay. There's the one. Okay. I'm seeing that it's it's quarter after seven. It is set correctly. Oh, my gosh. I, I hit it like have it upside down. This clock is so tricky. So again, don't take this top part off um, because this may break. What you want to do is you just want to take off um, the black part and then you'll kind of slide it back in like that. And then the clock part goes in the center. So let me get this right now. So there's midnight. Midnight goes right here. No, it's not right. Look, it's quarter, it says quarter after six. What the heck? I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, this is why it's tricky to set this thing. Okay, so I'm going to move this forward. There's a little dial back here. I'm going to move this to seven. What is it? Seven sixteen. Okay, and then we're going to see if it keeps correct time now. Okay, now it's correct. It's seven to six. Let's try this again. <laughs> you know what? We're so used to digital now, like my Apple Watch. Um, I'm not used to these kind of clocks. Okay, so we're going to put midnight up there. It's now 7.15. I've got the correct time. This thing is heavy. Um, it's got a lot of gold on it. Uh, skull on the back. You know what? If it wasn't for the skulls, I would call this a Christmas clock. I think you could almost put it up for Christmas. And unless someone was really looking closely, um, you'd probably just walk by it and go, that's a beautiful gold clock. Candle goes on top like this. Uh, let me show you what a Christmas candle looks like. Isn't this beautiful? Look, check it out. This could be totally a Christmas clock. Seriously, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous for Christmas. Um, these are not on sale, unfortunately. This is a heavy piece, by the way, like really heavy. Um, the back looks a little more Halloween-ish. But um, it's beautiful. I gotta say, I love it. I don't know, there's just something magical about owning a gold clock. Um, they are pricey. However, hopefully as Halloween kind of progresses into October, there's a lot of Halloween stuff now for 50% off. Honestly, I would even consider like buying a backup clock because 69, um, half of that would be 35. If you had a coupon, you could maybe get this thing in the upper 20s. Um, as Halloween progresses. I don't know. I think I saw a couple of them in my store, but it is available online. So we'll see. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see if Bath and Body Works actually. So this is where I'm storing my clock right here, right next to Greg Brady. I've got it right there. <laughs> right next to Greg. Um, I actually have my vampire uh, candle on my chalice back there. Uh, what candle did I just have on there? I thought I had a candle on there. I'm not sure which one I had. Um, I'm hoping they go on sale. I mean, remember the one year the rotating skull with the thunder showed up later for Halloween? I, I keep thinking maybe something's going to show up at like the very end, although we're already October 7th. It's pretty late in the season. Um, can you believe it? There are what, like 31 minus 7, like 25? No, 20. 
24 days until Halloween. Um, I feel like October is going exponentially fast. Uh, Halloween's on a Tuesday this year. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think about the clock. As soon as I can get my hands on that Christmas clock, you will be seeing it right here. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.